On this warmer than usual autumn night, enthusiastic student fans came out to support their undefeated soccer team that is ranked number one in the country. The University of Maryland has six foreign born players on its roster, two from Haiti. One of them, freshman Cristiano Francois, was practicing for his high school team across the bay from Port au Prince when the devastating earthquake struck on January 12, 2010. Francois said a number of his friends died in the tragedy and others lost limbs, so he feels fortunate his family and their house survived. Francois came to the United States to finish high school and was the star forward for his New Jersey team, St. Benedict's Prep, which was also top ranked. Since I, I've been here, St. Benedict's Prep, I, my high school, we were number one in the nation and then I came here, we're still number one in the nation. That's a good thing for me. I really appreciate that, yeah. While he plays hard, Francois is also focused on his studies. That was my dream to come to America, get education, because here they got better like education than Haiti. I just, I was really happy to come here and then to get education and then play soccer to get better every day. Fellow Haitian Widner St. Cyr, now in his third season at the University of Maryland, influenced Francois's decision on where to study and play. Like Francois, St. Cyr says he is happy with his home away from home. It's been a great experience, you know, knowing that back home it's not that easy, you know what I mean? So I'm enjoying it so far, learning from it, going from it and everything like that. You play the front zone defensively, the front six, and make sure you win it, okay? okay. Their soccer coach at Maryland, Sasha Sarovsky, now in his 20th season at the university, is glad they decided to play for him. They're just really special people. Um, and not only do they bring a great amount of soccer talent, but they, they bring in the locker room and in the experience a sense of uh, gratitude uh, and humility. Uh, they're just so grateful for the opportunity and really grab every ounce of energy. Unfortunately, St. Cyr recently suffered an injury, forcing him to the sidelines. But Francois has found lots of playing time on the front line of a team with high hopes for the national title this season. Both say they hope to eventually play together on the senior Haitian national team. Park Brewer, VOA Sports, in College Park, Maryland.